What's up guys, Jason Law here with Jason Law Photography and Films and today's quick tip is going to be on taking notes with your screenplay and preparations for filming day. So uh, this is going to involve a lot of reading and also a lot of these guys. So let's get started. Mark. So I made up a little quick example of uh, how you should highlight your screenplays and what you should be uh, highlighting for. So I uh, made a little uh, little uh, chart right here. It could be any color you want as long as you remember which color represents what. So let's say character is the color green. So basically uh, you're going to be looking for characters that are going to be in let's say uh, scene one, right? So uh, when you know who the characters are, you'll know which actors are needed for that day of the shoot. For costume, let's go ahead and go with blue. So if the writer mentions a particular uh, clothing, right, in a action description, like for instance, say Jason is wearing a Goonies shirt, right? So that must mean that that shirt with the Goonies is going to represent something or, you know, play a part in the story later on. So if that's highlighted blue, that means we have to find a Goonies shirt. Be props. Let's go ahead and highlight props red. So basically props can be like a particular object in the room. So like say, um, you know, an Oscar trophy uh, for best screenplay because you know, that lets the audience know that, you know, he's a screenwriter and pretty good at it. Wink, wink. So we're going to go ahead and highlight that red. And if there's any other objects in particular, then you want to highlight that red as well. So next is going to be set dressing. So let's go ahead and highlight that purple. So when you're reading a screenplay and you're looking for what the set's going to look like. So for instance, Jason walks into a room with a bunch of uh, comic book stuff around. So basically, I'm gonna highlight that purple comic book stuff because that way it lets me know that I'm gonna have to talk with the, um, the set designers about you know making the set or the room look like someone who owns a lot of comic book stuff. Next is gonna be sound. Okay, so let's go ahead and highlight sound uh, the color yellow. So basically uh, this could be sounds of like the raindrops on the roof. It could be very essential because you know it's letting you know that it's a rainy day and it's possibly you know winter time or you know a knock on the door or footsteps. That way uh, it lets me know that we're gonna have to have the sound of footsteps of someone walking in or a knock at the door so that way the actors can react to those sounds and it's again possibly you know essential to the story or the scene at that moment next would be stunts so let's go ahead and make that the color orange so um whenever i come across uh scenes where there's going to be like a fight or a car chase or you know a motorcycle chase and that's where it's going to be highlighted orange so that way it lets me know i'm going to have to find a stuntman or even a, a martial arts to a uh, martial artist to choreograph a fight scene right, so for music let's go ahead and highlight that uh, light green so pretty much uh, if there's a particular song and a particular artist that's mentioned in a scene right it could be a music that's playing in the background if it's mentioned then that means it has to be that song and that artist so uh, we highlight that light green and then now I have to go and not only find the song but also now I have to you know, get the rights to use that song in this scene and see if that's even possible. So very important if there's music playing that's already been written by an artist. Okay, last but not least, uh, the extras. We'll go ahead and uh, highlight them uh, light blue. So basically, um, you know, in a script, there's not too much of a details on extras other than like, you know, say, uh, Jason goes into a cafe filled with people. You know, so filled with people. If there's no specific number of people that's mentioned in the, uh, you know, the scene, then the director may just go with like, you know, just enough people to where it fills up the cafe because that's what's mentioned. So now with that highlighted light blue, that means, okay, we're gonna have to hire extras 
for that day. All right, so that's it for this quick tip. I hope you guys found that helpful. And again, you guys don't have to use the same colors that I used in this example, just so long as you guys know which colors you choose represents what. So that way it really does help you um, come up with a quick list of like what to have for the day of the shoot. And it's just really good to be prepared for you know, uh, production. I've used this so many times in the past when it came to, you know, preparing for a, you know, a film shoot. So I hope it helps you guys out too. All right. So if you guys want to check out more of my work, you can find them on my social media network. And if you guys haven't done so either, definitely appreciate if you guys click that subscribe button right there. That way you guys get more uh, tips, more uh, videos and projects and events that I'll be involved in, in the future. But until then, this is Jason Lore with Jason Lore Photography and Films, bringing art stories and entertainment.